Hello everyone, welcome to Pandey Guruji YouTube channel. In this video, I will continue discussing about the SQL uh, practice set, uh, which I already up, uh, uploaded total 10 video. Uh, so you can just do the practice all this uh, 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 question because this is the very important uh, uh, question and uh, all our question related to the uh, real time scenario based question. So I am providing on the daily basics. So I already uploaded uh, total 10 video under the playlist you can find here uh, SQL practice exercise with the solution. Uh, if you want to learn the complete SQL in both English and the Hindi, uh, I have the playlist Hindi SQL tutorial for the beginner and the uh, English you can see the uh, SQL tutorial for the beginner. So uh, almost 90% uh, SQL is over on 62 video is available. Uh, advanced level I will upload couple of more video in the future. So you can find if you want more interview question also. Uh, we have SQL interview question and answer uh, which have 10 video and uh, let's create SQL interview also we have the 19 video. So this is the very good resources if you really want to learn and practice because practice is the very important to uh, crack the interview to get the job okay so because uh, practice we, uh, will make you perfect and uh, also when you start doing the practices uh, the more question uh, will come into your mind okay so keep doing the practice and keep learning if you want more uh, SQL interview question like I have I prepared at around more than 300 real time scenario based question so you can just download the, all this set uh, by using the uh, video description uh, link okay just you can click on the link and click on the download and you can uh, get all this question okay so let's start with this today uh, question so today i will continue little bit advanced uh, uh, related to the uh, all i will include the exceptional handling uh, store procedure and uh, also error handling pre validation and also some user defined function also and temp table main, uh, main important is the I will use here the temp table and the indexes concept. So I taken one uh, real time scenario based question. So uh, if you attend the interview they will put this type of the question only. So the question is uh, develop a store procedure uh, based on the below requirement. So even if you work in the real time. Uh, you will get this type of the requirement uh, into real time also. So if you practice this type of the uh, question, trust me, this is very helpful to you to crack interview as well as survive into the IT industry. Okay. So the first requirement is the input parameter is the gender. Okay. So we have the employee table and the input parameter is the gender like uh, uh, we need to be pass male, female something and must pass the single value okay so the requirement is you either you need to be used the male and either you need to use the female you cannot pass male and female at a time so this is the requirement so if the user pass the male and female at a time uh, you need to be pre-validate okay uh, parameter that and throw the error that user pass must the single value so this need to be you handle into the requirement in the last video also I discuss how you can pre-validate the require uh, parameter. The second requirement is the if total children column is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, So we have the total children column uh, that value if greater than or equal to 3 then you need to be update the yearly income with the double. So whatever the yearly income have like employee have the yearly income is uh, 50,000 uh, you need to be make it the 1 lakh if the uh, children is greater than 3. So this is the complete requirement. So you can just pause the video and you can try to solve it. Okay. So and after the solving you can just uh, pre-validate that what answer we matching or not. So this is the first requirement. The second requirement is develop a store procedure to take the data from the CSV file. Okay. To take the data from the CSV file and update a core table using the dynamic SQL concept. Okay, so uh, this is the, this is the uh, very interesting question. Uh, lots of company ask to start the question how you can upload the file into the table, uh, how you can uh, upload the data, how you can update the data based on the data we have in the Excel file. So this type of the requirement. So this requirement, if you uh, 
really understand okay so this is a very helpful to crack any type of the interview so let's start with this or solve with this question so i'm jumping to the sql server management studio uh, so here we have the first question so uh, the first question is the uh, develop a store procedure based on the requirement so you can take the uh, first input parameter is gender and must pass the single value if the user pass the multiple value we need to pre validate the store procedure and throw the error so i am first creating the store procedure uh, first checking the store procedure that if the uh, procedure is already available in the database then first we need to be drop this procedure and then if they create the procedure so uh, you will not get an error if the this name procedure is already available in the database so the first requirement is the input parameter is the gender so i am creating the parameter value is the gender and uh, where here uh, 10 so the requirement is need to be first pre validate that uh, they have the uh, must pass the single value so i use the care index here so care index uh, is basically used to uh, find the index position so if already we have this uh, uh, com uh, comma like male and female this value should be uh, greater than 0 let me show you in the different window like for example i have this uh, uh, care index i am putting the select statement here and let me put the something uh, male uh, like uh, we need to be put, put male comma female okay so if you put like this uh, you always get something like uh, greater than zero because uh, we have the comma multiple value pass so we have the two so here i am checking that if the if they have the multi uh, greater than zero is care index definitely is multiple value is passed so i'm here i'm using the if condition and printing invalid parameter you can customize the message that uh, please pass the single value something like that uh, yesterday last session i already discussed this one and you need to put the return keyword here okay so return keyword is basically uh, used to uh, return from the store procedure so they will not execute the line number 28 they will stop executing in line number 26 and this is also very important question what is the use of the uh, return into this uh, store procedure so i am repeating again here uh, that return keyword is basically used to uh, return uh, from the store procedure uh, they will stop executing that line okay they, they will not execute the next line okay so they stop executing in 26 line they will not go on the 27 line or 29 line so if you have a thousand line of the code and the invalid parameter on the uh, 26 line no need to be waste of our time right uh, because if there is something the input parameter invalid why uh, we executing the uh, next line so the next one is i am creating the temp table so temporary table i am basically using to store the temporary data we have the id identity column customer key yearly income total children and uh, i storing all the data which is the input parameter which pass like gender i am putting where gender is equal to gender and i am creating the one one index okay on the customer key on a term table uh, just you need to be perform the uh, increase the performance of the code okay so i am basically uh, here i am introducing the while loop also uh, because uh, uh, I am just wanted to show you through the while loop uh, because the requirement is you can see the table here we have the uh, dim employee table okay uh, sorry we we need to be update the dim customer table okay so uh, if you look up the dim customer table here uh, let me show you this is the dim customer do uh, table uh, I am creating here so this table is available or not so first you need to be create this table here. Uh, because I will not disturb the main table. So whenever you are doing some type of the practices, so you can see uh, this table is available and we have the yearly income and we have the total children. So if I pass the mail and uh, total children is uh, greater than 3 or 3, like uh, this data you can see it, it should be update the 1,60,000. So this is the requirement here. Okay, so I am storing all the data into the temporary table and then I am looping through the while loop. So I already discussed the uh, while loop concept and taking one uh, record one by one 
and all putting into the transaction okay so last video i discussed uh, how you can use the transaction so if you didn't get a chance uh, just you can watch that video and uh, whatever we have if we need to put the year if condition if total children is greater than or equal to 3 then you need to be update yearly income is equal to 2 into yearly income so this will be loop one by one uh, because uh, here i am putting minimum is equal to minimum plus 1 if the total children is not greater than or equal to 3 uh, then i put it here the else condition and we need to be just simply print the customer having the less than 3 children i use the cast function here uh, because this is the character data type and uh, this is the integer data type so we need to uh, cast the into the where care and uh, in the, at the last you need to just uh, print the message okay so uh, here you can uh, just in install this store procedure okay uh, you can find this code of the store procedure in the uh, video description also okay so just you can go and download so you will better understand this uh, uh, code okay so now uh, you can see uh, we already have this something like a dim customer dupe table so let me remove this one because i already have the into uh, this window so you can see this window we have the 80000 now let's pre validate first so let's for example i am passing here uh, male comma female okay so if you pass the male comma female uh, you will get invalid parameter but if you pass only the mail, it will be executed successfully. So now uh, let me execute this code. So now you can see it's good, it's executing. And if you jump to the uh, message window, uh, whatever the data is not uh, updated, that having customer having less than three children and number of children is one. Okay, so that this is the message is printing uh, just for the uh, just for the visibility uh, purpose. So, because we have total 18,000 record here, so it will loop one by one, okay, so uh, and update the data. So, it will take couple of the minute, okay, it, it will take around one to uh, two minutes to complete the execution. So, uh, meanwhile, I am showing you uh, the code here. So, basically here, this is the basically I am using uh, for the uh, result purpose because uh, when we work with the uh, client you need to give the output to the client uh, so they can understand the what exactly happened so now you can see the execution is completed successfully okay now you can go back to this table and let me execute it again so now you can see uh, which i passed the mail is updated to 160000 so previously was 80000 so if you go back to again other children so you can see uh, this is not updated the reason is uh, this total children is uh, 3. So now you can validate that uh, the code is updated correctly. Okay. So like this, you can achieve this type of the question. I know this is the little bit uh, uh, complex, uh, but if you able to solve this type of the question, uh, definitely, uh, definitely you can achieve the any type of the requirement. Okay. So basically in this, uh, in this video, this, this video is little bit long. Okay. So uh, this uh, I will continue the second question uh, which is the available uh, uh, like the develop a store procedure to take the data from the CSV file and update a core table using the dynamic SQL concept. So uh, basically the requirement is uh, we have to uh, like if any data is available in the Excel like phone number is available and uh, if you have the data uh, like uh, dim customer dupe table we have or you can take the example of deep customer table and uh, if you if you try to execute uh, uh, this one okay so you can see uh, we have the uh, phone number is available in this table uh, like uh, we can take the example of the uh, deem employee okay so you can take the example of the deem employee so deem employee table we have the phone number column is there so suppose the phone number is available in excel sheet for the each employee like the uh, data is collected by the uh, hr team and uh, you need to be updated so try to solve this question and you can put the answer into the uh, comment box so if you're not able to solve uh, i will provide the solution uh, onto the next video that is the video number 11 so first you can try to solve this question and then if you're not able to solve it then i will solve in video number 11 so thank you for the watching complete this video 
आई विल मीट अगेन नेक्स्ट वन थैंक यू सो मच